So this is Caryxephalophora, Caryxephalophora, the many-headed sedge or the capitate sedge. Capitate meaning head, so if you're decapitated, you lost your head, right? So the many-headed sedge, it's in the face of Glocken uh, section with things like uh, Caryx parganoides, Caryx and the like, um, Caryx rosea, Gravita. Um, this has uh, a cluster of spikes, three to eight. Uh, spikes and one inflorescent all clustered no spaces between them. See look how jammed Jammed tight packed they are I can't talk uh, The the terminal spike uh, and most of the side spikes are androgynous. I think I'm losing focus here are androgynous um, uh, The the uh, which means that they're boys on top the boys on top here um they are, let's zoom, let's zoom back here. Oh, it's not finding it. Um, there we go. They, the, so the top there are the boys, boy flowers, which are kind of not doing anything anymore. And these sides here on the spike are the girl flowers. And that's with a perigenia. Um, they're the female, uh, female flowers that turn into the fruit now, right? Uh, you see there's one on my thumb there. And they're under 3.5 millimeters. Uh, usually flat on one side, kind of lens shaped, uh, rounded on the other a little bit. Um, and the perigenia, um, they, where was that? Oh, they're under 3.5 millimeters. Um, the side, sometimes the side spikes are female completely, pistillate, so only females. Uh, they do have this bract, see this little, I don't know if you can see in the video, but there's this little, little bract right there. Uh, and sometimes the bracts, uh, come out of the spikes, but usually they're hidden except the slower one. The slower one's longer. So unlike things like Sparganoides, uh, which is more separated down, and Cephaloidea, which are more separated down and also have bigger perigenia. The perigenia, again, are over 3.5 for those and under 3.5 for Cephalophora. This is Carex Cephalophora. There's also, it's clump forming, as you can see. This one in my yard is doing amazing. Look how tall it is. Uh, it's kind of flopping, I gotta trim it up a little. But it's also got these tight sheets. It's got these tight sheets. Uh, so unlike something like Caryxephaloidea, which is so baggy they fall off, kind of like like your Jinko pants, right? Um, they have these tight sheets. They don't have a lot of the, that green molting that you see, green modeling, molt, molting, modeling, blue, 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 what a day. Uh, green modeling that you see on other um, others in this section. So we have this clump forming, tight sheets, uh, Lots of crammed heads up there. Grows in, in open uh, woodlands, dry usually. Um, doesn't like its feet too wet. Uh, pretty common up here in northwest Indiana. Uh, Carex cephalophora, the Facetoglocken section. Uh, really cool. And it, it's different from something like Gravita, again, uh, um, through all these characteristics and its smaller, it's smaller uh, perigenium. So, uh, cool.